Hi, my name is Christopher Malcolm. I'm a Los Angeles-based uh, lifestyle fitness and active wear photographer. And I'm here today to talk to you about a shoot that I just did called Unstoppable. The concept for the shoot was pretty simple. I wanted to try and create an integrated shoot where we had both motions and stills and would tell the story of young athletes getting ready in the preseason. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to be necessarily outside on the field, so I wanted to kind of take all that emotion into the studio and really kind of get to the grit and the grime of what it would be to be you know, a first round draft pick and you're kind of getting ready for uh, you know, the challenges to come. As the shoot was going to be all about kind of hard work and uh, you know putting in effort, I wanted to try to create a look that kind of felt industrial and felt uh, steel and, and kind of gritty. So I worked with my stylist uh, Stephanie to put together looks that were mostly like in a kind of uh, like black, gray, white palette, um, and uh, complement that with the way I lit the scenes to try to add extra drama and extra kind of um, attack to each of the scenes. The talent all came from an agency here in uh, Los Angeles called SLU, our Sports Lifestyle Unlimited. Um, and what's great about them is that they, they're all actual athletes. In this case, these guys were real, like, players, man. They, uh, you know, I mean, there's some former professional football players in there, there's a uh, professional basketball player in there. These guys were real athletes, and I think it really comes through in the way they move. I played football, uh, not, you know, I mean, to a certain degree. I, mean, I, I played through high school and I played into college. I was a quarterback. So, I mean, you know, football was always a big part of my life growing up. And so I thought it might be kind of like a great uh, kind of uh, jumping off point uh, for a new series of images. Football is always kind of like a gladiator sport. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of mano a mano, you know, guys getting into the ring or in this case onto the field. And really just, you know, it's a war of attrition, you know. Uh, everybody gets knocked down, but, uh, you know, it's about getting up and staying tough and kind of being, you know, the fastest, strongest, and smartest. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a really, it's a great game. Oh yeah, I like to plan. I think uh, anybody who's ever shot with me will probably tell you the first thing that they remember are my pre-shoots, which are basically, you know, anytime I'm going to do a shoot, I like to kind of pre-visualize what's going to happen and, you know, different variables, you know, to a degree. There's only so much you can control, but, but the things that are within my control, I really like to kind of have them nice and, um, and uh, planned out, you know, pre uh, prior to getting to set. Because uh, that both A gives me, you know, um, lets me know what, what I can do, helps me convey that to my to my crew and my cast, so I can talk to them and say, look, okay, I want something kind of like this. Um, and then you don't necessarily get locked into that, you kind of go from there. But having that level of planning helps give, uh, give the cast and crew an idea of where you're going. Uh, it also gives you an, an idea of what to which you know how you're gonna what you're gonna do to achieve that and also some alternate paths and some you know what might go wrong and, and how to kind of get around that uh, so I always like to kind of come prepared it also gives you the advantage of being able to move incredibly quickly uh, because you're not sitting around kind of like, well maybe if we do maybe do. you know you know you walk into set and you're like okay I know if I do a B and C it's gonna be really really good um, and then if on set I'm inspired and, I, and then D comes up, oh my goodness, it can be really amazing. Uh, but in this case, I'm already prepared uh, and so we can get through like a lot of looks in a short period of time. I like to watch people move. Uh, as I used to be an athlete or, you know, <laughs> a version of an athlete and I'm really into fitness now and I, I, I just, you know, the way human bodies can, can move, uh, you know, both, you know, sh strength and grace and agility, it's just, it's fantastic and I think uh, one of my strongest strengths as a photographer is being able to kind of anticipate that and capture movements uh, and try to capture you know, kind of the decisive moment uh, right when the action's about to happen and I, I love to really work with um, athletes for that reason because you know they can do things that most you know most normal mortals can uh, and I love being able to kind of capture that on film 
and bring that energy and that grace uh, to whatever you know assignment I, I've, uh, I'm working on at the time. I was a filmmaker before I was a still photographer. So when it comes to models uh, and working with models for me, it's very similar to working with an actor and actress, which is I, I view kind of my role in that um, as not necessarily giving you like a line reading, but specifically kind of creating an environment in which uh, the talent feels free to breathe. You know, they, they feel free to create. Uh, you know, it's when you're shooting images with people and it's a, it's a two-way street. Um, you know, so I'm doing my part, but uh, that person in front of the lens has quite a bit of uh, talent and, and uniqueness as well. And so my job is really to kind of create a world in which they feel safe and where they feel comfortable and where they're willing to kind of give me all of their talents and I just, you know, I get to be greedy and just sit back and kind of collect it all for my images and kind of create something special. So I was a director and a writer, screenwriter first before I switched over to being still a uh, photographer. Uh, so, but whenever now I have an assignment that has both kind of motion and still, it's a great opportunity for me to kind of flex, you know, both sets of muscles and uh, kind of create a story that, you know, is appropriate in both mediums. I consider my primary job as a photographer to be a storyteller. You know, I'm, I'm here to kind of uh, connect, you know, brand message with um, with an audience. You know, it is, it's very similar to writing a, a feature film or writing a novel or anything like that. I have to try to kind of work with the talent that I'm given to create characters and characters that whoever's viewing that image can then relate to. And if they can then relate to that, then they can envision themselves, you know, striving for the same goals, working hard, just like the people in the, uh, in the photo series or the, the motion work do, uh, and uh, relating that to, to their specific product. My name is Christopher Malcolm. I'm a Los Angeles-based lifestyle fitness and activewear photographer. Thanks for watching.